Y'all ready for Halloween, guys? Let's get straight into it. So, I want to thank you for being here at the Centitar Fragrance channel. If this is the, the first time you've been here, or if you're new to fragrances, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love that you're here, and I love that I can share this video with you. So, before we start, let's talk about Halloween a little bit. Halloween is a time of fun. It's a time that we can be wild. It's a time that we often get together with friends and family. Um, for me personally, a lot of the times when, you know, with Halloween, you want a fragrance that really has a lot of strong projection and a good amount of longevity, to say the least. Um, for In my experience, because you're outside a lot of the time, or because there's going to be a lot of scents around you, could be everything from candy to, to delicious food to just being around a lot of people, you want a fragrance that really pushes out there um, almost like a winter fragrance so if you're curious that's why these fragrances are just going to be heavy hitters and they're going to be dependable for you so let's get into it guys <laughs> before I start, start the top five let's get into honorable mentions I love honorable mentions because they're fragrances that I don't have a presentation of or that I don't have enough experience personally smelling them but I still know that they're fantastic and perhaps other people have had great experiences with them as well. So explore them. My first honorable mention is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Now this fragrance is sweet, but it's classy, dark, seductive. It's beautiful, a beautiful fragrance. I personally get average longevity. I mean average projection out of it and pretty good longevity. But... Um, it, it is seductive. It is more for the Halloween, maybe if you're watching a movie with that special person. So that could be a great fragrance for you. Other fragrances are, are going to be fragrances that are similar to some of these. Uh, Jazz Club, uh, fantastic fragrance. Ambery, sweet, playful, woods, almost like a caramel. Oh man, that stuff is great. And uh, By the Fireplace is another one that's going to really do the job right. It smells smoky, like a fireplace, but it's, uh, it's very modern. It's very lovable and likable, even though it's a little bit different. And it can be very nostalgic or very special for you. That's the kind of fragrance, I think, that can create a scent memory or is really going to get, um, you know, bring one back. It's really going to bring on the, the nostalgia. So let's get into the top five, guys. So my first one is kind of a, just an easy one to mention, an easy one to uh, kind of fragrance to get away with. It's uh, This one's Versace Dylan Blue. Now, um, admittedly, you could wear you know any of your heavy hitters for Halloween. You could wear your Dior Sauvage. You could wear your Blue de Chanel. These fragrances are very versatile. I wanted to mention Dylan Blue because this is my favorite out of that blue um, and Broxen, a little bit of shower gel kind of smell, you know, that family of fragrances. I like Dylan Blue the best. It has a papyrus kind of note and it, and it just feels more full. I love the complexity of this, even though it is blue um, in the air, it might smell like just another fragrance, but it has patchouli. I think it's a little bit darker and a little bit more mature and it's it definitely doesn't smell old in any way this is very nice very very outstanding juice I think because it smells more natural and it uh, it doesn't last as long which is a shame but still it's wonderful I get a consistent six to seven hours longevity and projection is pretty good as well so this is a dependable fragrance but it also has some sweetness to it. Um, if you're around people who don't know fragrances, you can certainly get away with a fragrance like this or any of the fragrance in that kind of family or even Dolce Gamada the One, uh, Eau de Parfum. You could really uh, be a showstopper. But um, guys, I love this fragrance with very good reason. So, I wanted to get into the rest of the fragrances. These fragrances are darker 
they're more unique, um, and they might uh, fit the feel of Halloween better. <laughs> um, this one is Moogler's uh, Pure Tonka. Now guys, you might not have heard a lot about this one. Um, pure Havan and Pure Malt get a lot of the attention. With good reason. <laughs> they're fantastic fragrances. Um, they're a little bit easier to love. Perhaps they're more versatile. Pure Tonka is more of a winter only kind of fragrance. But remember guys, you're going to have a lot of competing smells around you with food, beverages, maybe somebody else is wearing perfume. You want to be the guy to stand out. So Pure Tonka is similar to Pure Coffee. It's a very rich coffee kind of fragrance, very enveloping. It has masculinity and seductiveness. A little bit of the smoky tar kind of factor in the, in the background going on. But I love Pure Tonka so much because it has, it's essentially pure coffee, that uh, the other Moogler fragrance, but it has added chocolate and Tonka, which is kind of like a, a full kind of vanilla type of smell. Guys, this stuff smells so rich that it almost smells like it has Ambroxan in it. And that's something, that's something special for you guys who like uh, wanted a, a sweet fragrance that had richness to balance it out. Guys, this is really gonna do the job for you. This is very good stuff. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It's one of my favorites and I'm gonna get a bottle when I can afford more fragrances, guys. So, uh, Pure Tonka is really gonna be a showstopper. It projects very well and has very good longevity. But if somebody's particularly close to you, it might not smell the best. So, that's why you reach for maybe some of these other fragrances or fragrances like the Tom Ford Noir Extreme. But uh, let's get into the rest, guys. There's a whole lot of other <laughs> lovely, uh, even scandalous fragrances to get into. Now, guys, I wanted to mention one that's affordable before I get into the expensive fragrances. I wanted to mention Encre Noir a la Extreme. Now, guys, you could go for Encre Noir. That's a much more daring fragrance. This one has even uh, added booziness, a beautiful rum, which has, which has sweetness. It has resin. It has much more of a balanced composition, I feel. Um, it just smells more uplifting. It has a little bit more spiciness. Guys, I say that this is Dolce Gabbana the one, but uh, the, the niche version, essentially. And for about $30, guys, this is beautiful stuff. It is it is more daring. It is a little bit more special than a fragrance like Dolce & Gabbana The One. But uh, guys, this is more nighttime or more of a winter version. With uh, it's, it's much darker, much woodier, and it's intoxicating. I'm a sucker for rum. Oh, guys, if you're wearing something like this and you're a well-put-together, mature man... You're gonna be rock. You're gonna, you know, turn some heads for sure. So, uh, guys, this is beautiful for the money. Thirty-five dollars or so. Um, this and Bentley Intense are some of the best like fall fragrances for the money. I can't recommend it enough. It's special to me. Um, and I guess that's all I can say about this one. <laughs> so, guys, now we're getting into the expensive fragrances. We're getting into niche. We're getting into fragrances that have more uniqueness, more special, um, really notes to them, but uh, certainly they're beautiful, certainly they're special, guys. So don't let the price tag scare, scare you away. A lot of us, you know, we're willing to fork out good money for something like Aventus because we know it's proven, we know it's special, but there are still fragrances out there that are simply beautiful. Um, and they're really worth the money guys these are worth the money so I only have a sample of it but this is Killian's Black Phantom honestly this is one of the fragrances that I've that I've wanted to buy for a long time but I'm saving up for it guys Killian Black Phantom is a showstopper it's beautiful it has a richness of caramel and and some dark notes but um, it really has a, the feel of Givenchy Play Intense and some of those dark, um, enveloping, seductive fragrance 
It almost smells like it had, could be in the Tom Ford uh, family. Certainly has the quality. But uh, guys, this has a darker feel. It has more of an aromatic feel. But along with that, somehow, Killian did some magic and managed to make it smell still aromatic. It still has airiness to it, even though it's so dark. It's so playful. It does have a little bit of booziness. It does have a little bit of a patchouli feel to it. Guys, this smells dark, brooding, but yet playful. You're going to smell like a very special person. Um, this is a fragrance that's supposed to be, you know, uh, it's called Black Phantom for a reason, guys. And there's a skull if you get the presentation box. So I think it's perfect for Halloween. A perfect fragrance. So, guys, can't recommend it enough. Beautiful stuff. Um, Alexandria Fragrances makes Black Knight, which is a more affordable copy of it. And if, you know, it might be the right thing to go for if if uh, money is a, you know, a struggle for you. And, and there's no shame in it, and that's a spectacular fragrance as well. So, without further ado, let's jump into the final one. This is uh, Fan Your Flames by Nishane. This is the kind of fragrance that you're going to smell very special guys and you're going to smell fantastic um, you, you'll you be amazed at the compliments you're going to get I know that I don't have a lot of sprays in this because I got it not too long ago and I'm saving it for special special occasions guys um, this is the kind of fragrance like apple brandy by K I think Killian as well that has sweetness that uh, has complexity but it's simply going to smell intoxicating. Um, if you're a fan of coconut, this is for you guys. But you guys are probably saying, okay, it's wonderful, it's fantastic, coconut, what? Guys, it, it has woodiness, it has the intoxicating booziness, it has, you know, the depth of character um, that you want in a really good fall, winter, heavy hitting fragrance. But uh, guys, it has it has an intoxicating uh, coconut. They blended it so well. The booziness and the coconut give this a very invigorating kind of, of more of an uplifting kind of feel to the. It could be a dark composition, almost like Black Phantom or or the Encre Noir Extreme. But that coconut and that and that uh, syrupiness. Well, that sweetness that uh, comes across without being too syrupy, oh man, it's intoxicating. You have to get your nose on it to believe it, guys. And again, this is a niche that's that's priced right. It's it's not too expensive for what it is, really. And uh, guys, I'd highly recommend it. It's something very special and near near and dear to my heart. I can't recommend it enough. So guys, oh, I recommend it for sure. Hope you get your nose on it, and if you try it out because of this recommendation, let me know what you think of it. I would be happy to know that you've got your nose on it because of my recommendation. Guys, again, I've, I hope this top five and honorable mentions here and there have, have been enough for you to explore your fragrances or find something out there that's perfect for the occasion. There's, there's a fragrance out there for you for the fall that and especially Halloween guys something special for the occasion that again you could pull off Dylan Blue you can pull off Savage you could even pull off La Nuit de Lome if you feel like it but uh, I think that one of these fragrances would really do the job for you I thank you for being here at the Centitar channel it's lovely to have you here it's a love it's it's wonderful to have you you know participate and be a subscriber on my channel so guys I again I thank you and I, I am uploading regularly so until next time guys I hope you uh, enjoy yourselves have fun on Halloween but of course don't go too wild but uh, have fun guys until next time I'll see you bye